This was found in our trench three, which was on the, the southernmost enclosure of the three enclosure phases that we know about. Uh, we believed it to be the earliest of the three phases of enclosure. And at the base of that, we came upon the, the human burial. And in one corner, so it would be the northeastern corner of, of our trench, the, the skull cut started coming up first. And then as, we, as uh, Gleena, who was excavating it, went down through it, more and more of it came up. So, and and it, it came out to be this very good condition burial of, of a very small infant. It was lying uh, within effectively a semicircle of stones, which, which, which encompassed the lower half of the body. And there were some quite large flat stones as well, which, which may at one point have been over the top of it as well. So it's a, it's a fairly formal burial. Well, we had been comparing the site to other sites, uh, like the Hill of Tara, uh, similarly an infant burial was found there. It's always typical towards the end of the site that you often get a lot of the good things, but beyond our expectations to find something like this. So we were very lucky to hit it in such a narrow trench uh, because the monument itself is quite big. Whether there's more burials dotted around or whether we were just very lucky that where we put our trench we managed to find this burial. The way the spine is growing we can see that it's still in its three pieces which is characteristic for very young individuals. Uh, the mandible is not fused through the midline indicating it's less than a year old. Altogether, this is sort of suggesting to me an age of roughly three to five months. So the next step is to look at the state of the bones and see if there's any pathology or any trauma to the bones. Um, and all of the damage that you can see, uh, I'm fairly confident to say that is post-mortem. It happened after the death of the individual and it had been deposited in the ground and it was natural action of the soil and the environment that are causing all this damage. Um, at regular points along the base of the trench there seem to be large pieces of cattle bone. And it's interesting that you have cattle bone and human bone placed almost next to each other. And I think, it, it, to me it, it, at least, it kind of speaks of the, the importance of cattle within that society, if you like, and the fact that cattle have been very important over a very long period of time in Ireland. And important enough that that ritual between cattle and human, they're, they're, they're both undergoing ritual treatment within the same monument here. But we really just scratched the surface. Um, the, the ritual landscape, if you like, is growing all the time here. It's a ritual centre, it's not just a one monument thing. It's a, it, it's a whole landscape scale ritual centre. So there's a lot more to be done there.